Well, the mics are back on, and this is Radio Entrepreneurs. Thank you very much, MTP Software, the host who built our studio and uh, house Radio Entrepreneurs. I want to thank my co-host, uh, reformed attorney, uh, author, Peter Meyerson. Welcome, Peter. Thank you, Jeffrey, for having me on. It's always fun to be here. Good. Is it is it fun not practicing law? It's fun not practicing law. It's fun working on my next novel. Oh, that's good. I like that. Our next guest is Jason Krauss, a returning guest, founder and CEO, Prepare for VC, and also author of Venture Forward. Hi, welcome. Thanks. Great to be on the show. Great. Well, which one do you want to start with, Prepare for VC or Venture Forward? Um, yeah, I can give a quick background on right. Prepare for VC. Uh, basically, I was on the show about three years ago, and um, I run a consulting company called Prepare for VC. It takes what I learned in the venture capital world and with some of the angel groups here in town and helps entrepreneurs through the fundraising process. So figuring out what investors are actually looking for and help them create a better pitch, pitch deck, business plan and uh, presentation around that. So um, it was probably just me or me and one other consultant back then. Uh, now we're up to a team of eight consultants who either have backgrounds and raising capital themselves or are part of the investment community that are helping the startups we work with. Um, so yeah, I've taken some of the, some of the stories from um, clients I've had there, some of the investment groups I've been involved in, and some of uh, just direct interviews I did um, you know, with new startups and um, some really exciting some exciting stories. And I uh, put them together in this book, Venture Forward, Lessons from Leaders. It, came out um, in October and uh, basically the point of the the point of the book is that you know whatever stage you are in the process um, it starts with you know a chapter on ideation all the way to pitching your pitching your startup uh, you know going through growth and pivots um, but basically whatever stage you are there's other entrepreneurs that have done it before. And you know you can learn from the stories that they went through, what they did right and wrong, and uh, hopefully not make the same mistakes they did, and build your own business, um, you know, to the next level around them. So, your business is helping people in startup situations find the right venture group. Right. Am I am I summarizing that right? Yeah, it's um, because both, that that's the toughest thing for you. A facilitator in that area. You're a facilitator, right? So it's both finding the right investor group as well as figuring out, you know, when you go in, if you get a meeting with, you know, Boston Harbor Angels, Walnut Ventures, um, you know, any of the other groups in the area. What do you you probably have ten minutes to pitch them? You know, if what information do you need to put in that pitch and. Uh, how do you get your point across pretty quickly that excites them, you know, to dig in and diligence and keep them coming back for investment interest? I mean, I, you know, a large part of my practice prior to my retirement was involved in the venture area. And I think the biggest issue that my clients always had was who do you pitch to? Right. And, and so you fill that void. Yeah, I mean that because I certainly didn't. I mean there right. were there were a couple of lawyers in the city who who did a really good job of it. They're dead now, you know. And you know there are no lawyers that I know of who can say this group handles that kind of venture right. startup. Yeah, some startups, um, you know, depending on the type of business or industry, you know, might might be a fit to go angel to angel group the whole way of their lifetime some you know are definitely like venture capital plays they're gonna be um either you know a two-sided marketplace system like needs a lot of investment to scale early on or um you know just ventures that really need a strong like to build up a strong user base before they can bring revenue in um so yeah there's different and you know there's plenty of businesses too that don't ever need angel or VC money. Like, um, you know, you could get like built loans for a restaurant, uh, you know, um, a brewery, something like that, or even, um, you know, sm more of the small business mindset that uh, can be really successful for the team involved, but, um, you know, is just something that's going to be like a long term sustainable business, doesn't necessarily 
need to go the angel or VC route as well. So yeah, it's a bit, you know, it's a challenge for a lot of entrepreneurs to figure out where, um, where the best fit in investor or with investors is. And yeah, we try to help them, um, you know, through that whole process. You it's know, I'm oh, sorry, go, go. you go. No, I guess I'll go. <laughs> uh, you know, I understand how you're sort of helping people find the right path. But I'm, I'm also interested because, you know, both Peter and I have been working with entrepreneurs our whole career. The right. unrealistic entrepreneur who has unrealistic expectations, how you deal with that. Because, I'm sh I, you know, I'm sure we've all experienced uh, the uh, denial from entrepreneurs when you give them reality. That was a much right. better question than I was going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so, I mean, a lot of it is, um, you know, every – if you're – Building a startup in general, you know, you, you're going to think if you're putting all your time and effort into it, you're going to think it's a great idea. And, you know, everybody else should also think that. But, um, yeah, part of it is like breaking it down into, um, you know, into milestones for the company. Like what can we prove out over the next six months or even the next three months that, you know, when we go to investors, they'll really see that all right there's legs to this business and um you know we've put something together or a product people want to buy uh, a service people want to sign up for and then how can we take that investment and sort of build scale it over the next year year and a half to you know be at a better spot to raise that next round of capital instead of um you know how do we show right now uh without any revenue that we're a 40 million dollar business is pretty difficult to do um, so yeah, if we can break it down into smaller steps for the company, um, and you know, sometimes in that process, they might feel or realize that, you know, the idea they started out with changes along the way. And there's something, some other part of their business that people, you know, like even more than, than what they started with. But, um, you know, they can still like take that and move forward and, you know, figure out the new direction of the company. And how does your fee structure work? Yeah, generally, um, try to package everything and, uh, you know, different programs. We have a four week pro or basically four to six week program for, um, you know, putting or doing like full scale from scratch, putting all the pitch deck business plan financials together and pinpointing, uh, an investor list for them. Um, we have longer term, packages where we're doing uh, a little more of the outreach on our side and then we have some companies we're working with on just uh you know a few what we call are basically four strategy sessions we'll do uh, a call or in-person meeting um once a week and help them you know get from where they were last week to some goals that they can achieve over the coming week so how did you, what did you do before this? I mean, how did you get to be in this business? Right. I mean, this is an entrepreneurial show, so we want to know kind of where did you come from? Yeah, so um, I've, did, like, I've been into, you know, entrepreneurship for a while. Uh, in college, I started, um, I started a mobile app for, um, it, was, it was called Night Owl, a mobile app for uh, basically figuring out what bars, you know, were, Good to go. <laughs> I was senior year of college, so um, yeah, what bars were like pretty good to go to downtown at night, um, and then yeah, went from that was up at uh, Colgate University. It was like you know pretty cold out in the winter, so you know wanted to make sure if we we're and going only out, three bars, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, wanted to make sure you know if we we're going out, we knew uh, it was it was worth making the trip downtown. Um, and then, yeah, so went to Babson for grad school, uh, you know, gr uh, pretty big entrepreneurship program there. And I got involved um, with uh, one of the local angel groups, Boston Harbor Angels, as an intern that was hosting their meetings there. Um, really got me excited. You know, I'd been in the interested in the finance portion of it, uh, done some like wealth management internships and things like that. But yeah, that got me really interested into like combining both entrepreneurship and investment into this angel to VC realm and, um, you know, joined or basically talked to as many venture capitalists as I could find uh, 
and you know found a new fund that was starting with a uh, Babson alum and um, yeah joined that right after the grad program there um, for yeah a little over a year and then um, you know decided uh, or started doing some consulting work on the side helping startups and realized there was a you know a business around this um, around taking the investment perspective and bringing it to the entrepreneur and helping them through that funding process. Good. They We've definitely need it. We are speaking with Jason Krauss, founder, CEO, Prepare for VC, and author of Venture Forward. Jason, if someone's looking for you or the book, how would they find you? Yeah, so um, they can find me on my uh, personal website, jasonkraus.me. Um, I post a link to all my social media pages. You can add me on LinkedIn, or um, there's, uh, I actually post my calendar on there as well to reach out and schedule a call. Um, and then there's a link to the book, which is also available on Amazon, uh, Venture Forward, Lessons from Leaders. Great. Thanks for being on the show today. And thank you, Peter Myerson, a great author in your own right. Thank you, Jeffrey. And it's we're gonna always fun. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with more stories on the one and the only Radio Entrepreneurs. <laughs> 